So a yellow, green, red. I'm just going to mess around until something gets solved. Okay, this will give me an opportunity to show you another algorithm. Now, if you've seen my SKU tutorial, you would already know this one. And what this algorithm does it is it takes this piece right here, moves it over to this side, moves this piece right here, and this piece right here. And the way you do it is you look at a side, and a side that has, it almost looks correct, but these two are swapped and these two are swapped right here. You know this piece needs to go here. And this is how you do the algorithm. You have the three that are solved here, here, and here. And you move it like this. Move it. And if you didn't have a parity error, it would be solved. But, you know, I got a parity error and I could show you how to fix it. There are two different types of parity errors you can get. You can get one where the two pieces that are flipped are opposite of each other, or you can get one where the two pieces are flipped or adjacent to each other, such as this piece right here being flipped. The way you're gonna fix this is you're gonna pick one of the flipped pieces, it doesn't matter which one, and you're gonna, you're gonna have it right here, and you're gonna do this algorithm twice, like this. All right, so that was once, and here's another time. And now, what that did was it put the flipped ones in different position. And now this time, you can, you know, solve it. So you're going to do that move two more times. And this is how you would start if the ones, the ones that are flipped are adjacent to each other. So do it two times. And that was one. And that was number two. Now this time, you're going to move it over to where it just was, to where the top one is solved and the one on the left is solved. Now you're going to do it two more times. Oops. Oh man. Did I mix it up? Right. I don't think I mixed it up too bad. Uh oh. Two colors like that are not good. I almost had it. Let me think. Blue. Oh, there. I think that's how it was. Let me try it. All right. I want to stop the video right now and huh so I finally got it back to where it was and you know that that's a drawback on cues that move really well is because you could sometimes lose your place and I put a lot of silicone in this cube and that's why it turns so you know so well you can see it but anyway and another thing is this doesn't click in a place so that you know, Mefford's pat patented, you know, sp spring loaded ball bearing structure thing isn't in this cube. But I want to. Where was it? Oh, there it is. This thing is weird. It keeps changing on me. But I want to show you how to do it again. You don't do it twice. And remember, have one up top and one in front of you. That was one. And that was two. And this time, I should not mess up. You'll just rotate like this and do it two more times. Okay. Now, I hope that 
um, helps you solve it. I'm sorry for any kind of incoherence or, you know, just my, you know, clumsiness that kept you from learning. If you want, I can make another version of this, or I can answer questions, or even do both. But if you have any questions, or if you want to know any more algorithms, just send me a personal message or give me a comment below and I will answer it as soon as I can and by the way I have a new computer so I mean yeah I mean it shouldn't freeze up when I'm trying to put a comment on there but I really hope this video helped and I still apologize for messing up but um, thanks for watching and hope you can now solve your Scube Diamond